Welcome to this Intro to Linear Systems lesson. A system of linear equations is two or more linear equations, and they have a relationship. They're either graphed on the same graph or they are related in a real world problem. And a solution to a system is a point, an ordered pair, that satisfies both equations. So you see an example of a system of linear equations on the right. These are two graphed linear equations. And graphically, the solution is where they meet. So the solution to this one would be a negative 1, 0. So solving a linear system. There are three main ways to solve a linear system, and you just learned one, graphing. You can graph and see where the two lines meet. There's also substitution and elimination. And we will talk about all three of those in this unit. Okay, so let's look at some examples below. Number one is the following a system of linear equations. So we have two linear equations and we know they're linear because x is to the first power. So this would be a yes. Number two, what is the solution to the system of linear equations? So graphically, it's where the two lines meet, which would be here at 1, 1. Number three, is 1, 8 a solution to the system of linear equations? So to determine if an ordered pair is a solution, you're going to substitute that ordered pair into both equations and see if it makes them both true. So let's do that with the first one. All right, so this is x and y. So 8 equals, substitute in 1 for x minus 1. So 9 times 1 is 9 minus 1. 9 minus 1 is 8. So that works for the first one. But it's not a solution to both unless it works for both. So we have to substitute in to the second equation as well. So substitute in 1 for x and 8 for y. 2 times 1 is 2. 4 times 8 is 32. 2 minus 32, that's negative 30. That is not equal 10. So this is not a solution to the system of linear equations. All right, number four, create your own example of a system of linear equations. So as long as you have two or more linear equations, that is a system. So you can write your own. I'm just going to make up mine right here. And they can be in any form you want, slope intercept, standard. It doesn't matter as long as it's two or more. OK, let's move on to solving by graphing. So you can solve a system of linear equations by graphing both lines and seeing where they intersect. Graphing is be best if both equations are in slope-intercept form. And the reason for that is it's easy to graph in slope-intercept form. You had the y-intercept, you had the slope, you can quickly graph those lines and see where they meet. So here are the steps. Step one, you're going to graph each equation. Step two, find where the lines intersect. And step three, the intersection point is the solution. A couple of notes. If the lines are parallel, if the lines are parallel, the system has no solution because they will never meet. If the lines are the same, so if you graph the lines and they turn out to be exactly the same line, then the system has all real solutions. All right, so let's go ahead and try an example. I'm going to use different colors here. That helps me. If you have like colored pencils or something, that might help you when you are graphing these. So I'm going to use green for the first one. So y equals 1 half x minus 3. So let's graph 
our y-intercept at negative 3. And it has a slope of 1 over 2, so rise 1, run 2. 1, 2. Same thing in the other direction. So this is my first line. If you have a ruler or a straight edge, that's going to help you because you want to make sure these are perfectly straight so you get that intersection point correct. All right, I'm going to use pink for the second one. So it has a y-intercept of 2 and a slope of negative 2. So I'm going to rise 2, run 1, and then in the opposite direction, And then where they meet is the solution. So 2, negative 2. And you can always substitute in to both equations to make sure that works and satisfies both. All right. Next example. So 2x minus 4y equals 8. So these are in standard form, so I'm going to use my intercepts, my x and y intercepts to solve. So remember I can, for the first one, I can change, substitute in 0 for y to find my x-intercept. So 2x minus 0 is just 2x, so x is 4. And I can substitute in 0 for x to find my y-intercept. All right, so we have 4 and negative 2. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my other one. And I'm not going to write it all out. I'm just going to, I know that substituting in 0 is going to make that whole term go to 0. So I'm just going to write the x term equals negative 12, which is negative 3. And then the y term divided by 6, that's negative 2. So x is negative 3. y is negative 2. And they intersect here at 0, negative 2. All right, pause the video and try number 2 by yourself. All right, let's see how we did. So the first one is already in slope-intercept form. So it has a y-intercept at 2 and a slope of negative 1. So rise 1, run 1. Oops. And then the second one is in standard form. So I'm going to find my intercepts. So x is 2. And remember, when I'm doing this, all I'm doing is substituting in 0 for x and for y to find the opposite intercept. And when you substitute in 0, it just makes that term go to 0, so you don't have to write the term. It's just kind of a shortcut. That's negative 4, so x equals 2, y equals negative 4. So my solution is here at 2, 0. Okay, you can stop the video now and complete solve by graphing practice.